Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today we're having a look at drag and dictate commands and getting into the nitty gritty of it and seeing what else we can do with it. So let's get started. There are a number of special symbols that you can put in there such as tilde, ampersand, the at sign, equals sign, forward slash, spacebar, backslash and so on. There are a number of commands that you can use to say how you want the capital letters to work out. You can have it so that there are capital letters at the beginning of each word, or you can have all capital letters, or you can make it so that it all goes back to lowercase again. You just have to remember which it is of the commands to do various things. So let's try that out. Caps on. Now when I'm talking to my computer, all of the caps off. And now it is going back to no capitals at all. All caps on. Now when I'm dictating, all of the letters in all of the words will be capitals. All caps off. And now we're back to lowercase again. No space on. So now when I'm speaking, all of the letters will come out without any spaces in between. No space off. And now it is back to normal again. You can combine some of these things together so that sometimes you will want to have it so that you have capitals at the start of a word and also no spaces in between, such as caps on, scanner, no space, pro, caps off, or I could say cap, scanner, no space, cap, pro. So I've just shown you two ways of doing that and you can just choose whichever one you find the best for yourself. It is also possible to do Roman numerals, Roman numeral 10, Roman numeral 1000, Roman numeral 1942, Roman numeral 5, Roman numeral 7. You might not need Roman numerals very often, but it's useful to have it there just in case you need it. Sometimes you might want to have the words read back to you. Select that. Read the selection. Sometimes you might want to have the words read back to you. If you could just do me the favour of clicking on the like button. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Open Express Editor. Close Express Editor. Open Express Editor. This part of Drag and Dictate I don't use very often, but it's nice to know that it is there. And what I can do with this is to use it with other applications where Drag and Dictate is not working as well as it should and to transfer the dictated text into it. Press the key combo, Option, Shift, Left Arrow. Press the key combo, Command, Shift, Left Arrow. Go to End, Microphone Off. So sometimes if you don't remember what the Drag and Dictate commands are, you can use the generic key combos to get the computer to do things for you. So that's a few things there to get you learning a bit more about Dragon Dictate and in the next video we'll have a look and see what we can do with mail. And here is a quick bonus tip for when you're using Dragon Dictate with other applications and in this case with messages. So what we're going to do is we're going to dictate into messages and then we're going to tell it to send message. And there's only the one available command in that, and that's to send message, so that's how easy and simple it is. Victoria is sitting out on the terrace at the moment reading a book. She is enjoying having some time off from work. Send message. And one of the good things about doing it with uh, Dragon Dictate is the fact that once the message is sent, the Dragon Dictate cache is purged, and so it's not going to affect anything else that you do with Dragon Dictate. So there you go, one quick tip to go with the other tips that we've got for doing things with Dragon Dictate. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.